The chase is here, which can only mean one thing. 10 more weeks of awesome. Hello everyone, I'm Chuck Bush here in the Fan and Media Engagement Center, and this is the Rearview Mirror. The Chicagoland Speedway was the last race before the NASCAR Camper World Truck Series chase. So, who would win and cement their place in? Kyle Busch, of course. However, he's not eligible for this chase, and so after a second and eighth place finish for Daniel Hemrick and Timothy Peters respectively, they claimed the final two spots in the first ever NASCAR Camping World Truck Series chase. William Byron, on the other hand, leads the way with his incredible five rookie wins. And now, the word of the week. Definitely impressive. What's even more impressive? The most impressive run. Impressive what he's done. Very impressive so far. The NASCAR Xfinity Series would also set their chase field at Chicagoland. So who would win this race and punch their ticket to the first ever Xfinity Series chase? Well, Kyle Busch, of course. But oh wait, he's cut a tire down. That would lead to a caution. And on the ensuing restart, Eric Jones gets around Elliott Sadler and earns the win. And with that win, Jones is now the top seed heading into the NASCAR Xfinity Series chase. And I wish I had a joke, but I don't. While those two series were wrapping up their regular seasons, the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series kicked off their chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. Both Kyle Larson and Kevin Harvick were forced to start in the back of the field, but luckily for them, that's just how they planned it. I think it just adds another challenge, you know, to the race. I like passing cars, and especially in NASCAR, you got like 400, 500 miles to do it. I mean, you got all the time in the world, so. Oh. Living up to their word, both drivers made their way through the field, but Harvick would go a lap down after being caught on pit road during a yellow and ended up finishing 20th. Meanwhile, the luck might be turning for NASCAR's unluckiest driver as Martin Truex Jr. overcame early tire troubles and went on to win the first race in the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. The excitement, however, was short-lived as the 78 car failed post-race laser inspection. And as they say in Canada, bummer. It's kind of a bummer. Bummer on the day, but whatever, you know? Well, that'll do it for this week's episode of The Rearview Mirror. Be sure to check back next week as we see just how beautiful the leaves are this time of year in New Hampshire.